YouTube, I'm back. So today I wanted to try out the Etude House Tint My Brow Gel. It's the peel off gel. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube on this product and it just looks like a lot of fun to use. And I definitely wanted to try to save some time on my eyebrows when I do my makeup. Um, also, I am an avid Wish shopper, you know, the app the app wish um, I don't know if you've seen my last video I did a review on some makeup brushes I mean if you haven't I'll just link it uh, down at the description below um, but I'm an avid wish shopper so if you wanted to see me do some reviews on more products that I bought um, anywhere between makeup to household products um, or clothes just uh, if you can like and subscribe this video I'll do a review on that um, but if you want to watch me uh, try this eyebrow tint out uh, just keep watching okay so I did open this last night just to do a little tester on my hand I only did a tester for like 10 minutes and I peeled it off and it was like a light brown color um, but here this is what it looks like out of the package it does say the longer you leave it on, the darker it will be. So I, I it says to use it for two hours. So I'm just going to use it for the two hours. Also, I got this off their website. And I think I paid like $12.92, 12 almost 13 bucks. It took about a week to get to me. Um, so it says on the package, which I already read, to take off any makeup oils on your eyebrows. So I'm going to have to do that. Um, I have this Simply Sensitive Skin Exfoliating Wipes. So I'll just use that and take them off. You're definitely going to see that I have really no eyebrows. I have really sparse eyebrows. And that's another reason why I wanted to use this product. Oh my goodness. Don't make fun of me because... I don't have any eyebrows. It's going to look so weird. Ugh. So, there's one, there's the other. And honestly, I was thinking about buying some eyebrow stencils because it takes me a while to get my eyebrows in the right shape that I want. And this is going to be very hard for me to put on my eyebrows and try to get them even so there's me with no eyebrows how you doing um this is what it looks like let me get a close-up it's really sticky not as sticky as i thought because when i used it last night and opened it it's not that bad i'm gonna do this eyebrow first because it's definitely more easier for me to do And the brush is pretty good too, actually. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's like a, one of those eyeliner brushes. Oy. should have grabbed a q-tip just in case I messed up oh my gosh this looks crazy um when I tried the tester last night on my hand I when I like I said I only did it for 10 minutes so on the box it says not to wipe or wash it away for 24 hours so if you do mess up, like once I peel this off and I know that I messed up, I can literally just wipe it away with um, the wipes. So it shouldn't be a problem if you mess up. I don't know if this is good enough or not. Maybe? Okay, I guess so. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, I don't know. You know how you do your eyebrows when you're always trying to correct them? Oh, look at that wild hair right there. What is it doing? It's doing. 
All right, no, I'm just gonna leave it. It's already starting to get hard and tacky, so let's. It's this other eyebrow that I have a problem with. Oh my goodness, this is going to be bad. It's not that easy to control. It smells like perfume. goodness I'm going to mess this one up so bad oh, I can already tell I messed it up hell yeah I messed it up fix this I don't know how I'm gonna fix it I gotta fix this one. Oh my goodness I'm almost done. I just have to attempt to fix what I did. One's like, like, oh my goodness, this is not cool. I should have outlined it first. But there's no going back, so... This is what I'm stuck with, but it's all right. They say, what, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, or something like that. Well, mine don't even look related. <laughs> Holy cow. This, let me see if I can fix this with a Q-tip somehow. Oh, okay. Well, that works pretty good, actually. So maybe I can fix this right here. Oh yeah, I can. Well, it comes off pretty good. You just have to take it off right away, I guess. But it comes off really good. So if you do mess up, it shouldn't be a problem. That's not too bad. Okay, well, so I don't know what time it is, but two hours from now, I will come back and show you what it looks like underneath. I cannot wait. I do see some people say that it might peel off your eyebrows, but honestly, I barely have any anyway, so it wouldn't even make a difference. I'll just use something to draw it in. So this is the final look. I will see you guys in two hours to show you what it looks like. All right, so it's been about two hours and five minutes. And I did touch it up a little bit when uh, I stopped recording. Um, I just kind of fi fixed my arch. Um, other than that... It feels like like when I scrunch my eyebrows and when I just just when I do certain expressions with my eyebrows, it just feels like I kind of have like a face mask on, um, a peel off face mask. But other than that, it's not too bad. I did have to go outside with people like this and it was just a little embarrassing because it kind of looks like I got my eyebrows tattooed on and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but... It looks like I don't know how to do my makeup and it just it's a little embarrassing but I'm so excited to peel it off and take a look um, at what's underneath so let's go ahead and do that let me adjust the camera a bit hopefully very easy to peel off 
it just comes right off. It's pretty, it, it is a little bit lighter than I prefer, but I really don't mind it. I probably will. The tail's a little light. I probably should have put a little more product on it, but I might just darken that up. But it's not too bad. I, the before, I, I can pull off this look. I can. But this one, I cannot. So let's do the other one. way easier to peel than I thought it was going to be. Not bad, not bad at all. I think that I did way better on this one than I did with this one. And honestly, that's, even when I draw in my eyebrows, this one always turns out better than this one. I have more hair on this one than this one, so it's a lot easier to do this one. But I enjoy it. I, I mean, I, I like it. I genuinely like it. I Like I said, the only thing that I would do would to be fill this tail in and let's just compare to see I'm just gonna use this brow gel here Hold on. and let's just see what it would look like if I filled it in let me find my angled brush just a little bit not too much just where I need it at right here can't even tell I'm so happy so what I'll probably do is um, continue to upload videos like a part two and a part three to show you every day to see how long this lasts because that's one thing it doesn't say on the box it doesn't say how long this actually lasts for um, I know it says not to wipe or wash your face within 24 hours um, so I'm just going to tonight when I take off my makeup I'm just going to use um, my facial wipes and just clean around my eyebrows but if you did like this video, don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my videos. And keep a lookout because I'm going to be putting a lot more videos on YouTube for you guys. Um, mostly it's going to be stuff that I enjoy doing, which is makeup, of course. Makeup products, reviews. Um, like I said, if you do want to see more um, reviews on the Wish, some Wish products that I bought, just click the like button. Thank you. Bye.